And here to give us some perspective on the political playing field is Ed Lynch, professor of political science at Hollins University. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good no to be problem. here again. We have a ton of stuff to talk about. Okay. Seems like every other day a new Republican hopeful enters the race. Does this hurt the Republicans' chances having so many candidates in that playing field? Well. It, uh, I don't think it will. I think that it, it increases the number of people who are interested in the conversation. It gets more points of view out there. And I think that this group of candidates is going to be culled very, very quickly after Iowa and New Hampshire. I think we'll be down to three, maybe three or four candidates by that point. Now, Bernie Sanders, he's uh, making a stronger than expected showing. Mm -hmm. He labels himself as a socialist. It's kind of taboo, but he's making a pretty strong showing. What do you think of that? Well, he's sort of been downplaying the socialist thing now that he's running for president. And it shows that uh, on the Democratic side, there is a very, very deep yearning for some alternative to Hillary Clinton. Uh, Hillary Clinton has very broad support, but it's very shallow support. Uh, and there are a number of people on that side who are looking for somebody who will really say what he means and and uh, uh, say things in a very sort of upfront kind of way. Hillary is very, very careful in what she says. Everything is scripted. And I think that spontaneity from Bernie Sanders is what, it, is, what is attracting people. Now, there are so many different candidates in this playing field. Who, though, has a legitimate chance at winning the nomination? Well, on the, uh, on the Democratic side, of course, Hillary is the front runner. Uh, I think that uh, if Jim Webb he, from here in Virginia uh, jumps in, he would get some support on the Republican side. I think, you know, as I mentioned, uh, it will be down to three or four candidates. I think they will be Jeb Bush, Scott Walker, uh, uh, Marco Rubio, and possibly Rand Paul will stay with it for a while. And uh, Jeb Bush, uh, because he has a lot of money, a lot of money, uh, uh, and uh, can organize paid, paid staff in a lot of different states, I think he'll stay with it longer than his actual views on the issues would probably uh, merit staying in the race. Now, there are a lot of different issues that have been prominent in the news, mm -hmm. but what do you think are going to be the key issues for this upcoming election? Well, I think the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, is definitely going to be uh, one of the main issues. Uh, I think the economy is going to be a main issue. I think that America's place in the world is going to be a very, very important issue. Uh, we'll uh, know more about the Iranian nuclear progress uh, and, and their progress towards getting an, a nuclear weapon. Uh, there are dangers to the United States all over the world. I think that candidates are going to have to show some foreign policy credentials in order to be taken seriously. Uh, and I, and uh, I think that uh, uh, implementing the, the recent Supreme Court decisions will be a big issue. And you were telling me about during the commercial break, a mm -hmm. pretty exciting uh, decision was made over the weekend of something coming to Virginia? Yes, Virginia, uh, the Virginia Republican Party uh, uh, Leadership Committee met over the weekend and by a very close vote, uh, 42 to 39 I think, voted to have a primary here rather than a convention. It'll probably be fairly early on, which means we'll probably see some of the candidates here in Virginia, and I would not be surprised to see some of them right here in Roanoke. Virginia is definitely an exciting place to be, especially when it comes to politics and elections. We appreciate your expert opinion and uh, coming on our show this morning, Professor Lynch. Again, thank you for having me. Good to be back. All right, your Fox 21 27 Morning News will be right back.